About a year ago, uh, we launched the Youth and Family Center. Uh, to give you an idea of what the Youth and Family Center is all about, um, it was a dream of mine to establish a place where we can cater to the needs of young people, not just young people, but also their families. And so initially, the Youth and, and Family Center was birthed with this idea in mind to house several programs under one roof that would cater not only to the needs of young people, but also families. And to that end, we were able to establish several things. One of the first things that we did is we established uh, a mentoring program. So I developed a program called the Winners Touch Mentoring and Life Coaching Program. And this program works with young people, both male and female, and trains them and develops them and helps them to become productive citizens. And so that's one of the programs that's housed under the Youth and Family Center. Another program that's housed under the Youth and Family Center is the Simpson Penn Mentoring Program, which is another mentoring program that's geared specifically for boys. And uh, this program is also um, some, some, a program that happens in many schools and, and, and many communities. And then the other element of the Youth and Family Center is we wanted to have a place where young people can use the computer, they can get educational training, we can do seminars. And so we uh, acquired this facility, we are currently renting it, and this facility allows us to have a flat screen TV, several computers, conference area, and meeting rooms. Uh, we use the facility currently to conduct parenting classes, um, a school suspension program where we have kids who are suspended with behavioral issues. They come to our center, they are trained by our staff, and they're able to interact, they're able to use the computers, and we also, in, we also incorporate some discipline training into that as well. And so that's another element of what happens at the Youth and Family Center. We also have uh, plans in place for drug prevention and counseling seminars relationship-oriented seminars in addition to the parenting seminars, and uh, also we deal with conflict resolution. The facilities of the center include uh, a large flat screen TV, a computer lab, um, seating for 60 persons, classroom style, wireless internet, and all of these items are available uh, to the community and especially to young people. We are also in consultation with schools and churches uh, to conduct events and seminars and do training at the, at the Youth and Family Center. So the Youth and Family Center is currently um, in its first year and we are looking not only at continuing in the coming year, but we're also looking at expanding and perhaps even moving to a new facility, incorporating more programs and so I want to encourage you, if you can support us in any way, whether it's financial, whether it's in terms of equipment, uh, any donations would be appreciated as most of our services currently, uh, there's no charge for it and we are uh, subsisting on donations only at the moment. So we really, really would appreciate any um, funding, any equipment, any items that you can contribute if you believe that this program is uh, an effective program. And you'll see many, many testimonies of persons who have been impacted by the Youth and Family Center and by the many different programs that we have. So uh, we covered your assistance and we ask you to assist in any way you can, uh, being, a, being people, persons who are concerned about the development of young people in our country. Many times we say that you know we need positive programs, we need help for our young people, but in, in, in many of those cases, persons are not willing to come forward and give the funding that's required for these things to take place. So we ask for your assistance. Courage, discipline, respect. Three core values that every young man needs in order to effectively stand against peer pressure, violence, and other negative cultural trends. These powerful traits enable all young men to embrace teachings and training to lead to a fruitful adult life that contributes positively to their families and community. Courage, discipline, and respect. 
three powerful tools used in transforming boys to men. This is the foundation of the Young Champions Boys Club founded by Dr. Dave Burrows and the Simpson C. Penn Boys to Men Mentoring Program, a government registered organization founded by Mr. Winston Penn. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to talk about several things today. The first item that I want to talk about is the Young Champions Program. As some of you may be aware, uh, this is a program that I initiated some time ago and our goal was to have young men impacted in a positive way. We wanted to change the perception about young men and also to change the behavior and the attitudes of young men in our country and create a more positive environment. And so that's how young champions were born. We wanted to uh, have a means of mentoring, developing, training young people. And this program, we, we uh, were able to attract young men from different backgrounds and train them through discipline, through uh, Christian education and, and, and Christian knowledge, and also through uh, discipline measures. Um, as our program evolved, we were blessed to have Mr. Winston Penn join us, and he actually uh, caused the program to blossom because he added some elements into the program uh, including discipline through the use of karate primarily, as well as other avenues. But the program has expanded. We have been able to touch many, many young men, and we've been able to see many young, young lives change in a positive way. So this has been a tremendous blessing, and uh, we celebrate again this year, another year of effective programming and effective training of young men in the Bahamas helping to work against and stem the tide of crime and negative behavior. And so I believe that uh, the young champions uh, ought to be commended for all they have achieved this year, those who are, who are receiving awards. And also, especially, I have to give my commendation to Mr. Winston Penn and other members of the team who have made such a major contribution uh, to make sure that our young men are in a better position to become adult productive citizens. The Simpson C. Penn Boys to Men Mentoring Program was founded in 1998 by Mr. Winston Penn. This dynamic program is a school and community-based organization designed to equip, train, and motivate young men to become productive citizens of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Through the discipline of martial arts and precise teaching of the Kingdom of God, each boy comes to understand his purpose and identity in life. With a holistic approach to development, our program develops its members spiritually, emotionally, socially, and physically. More specifically, some of our objectives include teaching young men the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, rehabilitating young men with disciplinary problems to cultivate new patterns of behavior, seeking the support of family and community, partnering with law enforcement and other business establishments to guide young men, teaching money management skills, and enforcing a semi-military program teaching the importance of exercise, self-discipline, drilling, and discipline. We are grateful for the support of the community at large in our efforts to transform the lives of our youth. Young Champions Boys Club and the Simpson C. Penn program mentors young men between the ages of 5 through 21 years old through partnership of churches, schools, and community-based organizations. We know to thank the following persons for supporting us in our mission. Dr. Dave Burrows, Bahamas Faith Ministries International, Oscar and Brenda Lee Monroe, The Winner's Touch Organization. The Simpson Penn program, along with Young Champions program, have had an engaging and productive year. Every Tuesday and Thursday from 7 through 9 p.m., we've held dynamic karate and teaching sessions and have already seen positive results among the young men. We've also had our boot camp retreat every second and fourth Saturday of each month, reinforcing spiritual truth and practical examples. The group has also attended a number of local and international tournaments. And each year, we round out our calendar with our prestigious Young Champions Awards Banquet held in December. This special affair highlights the achievements of our youth 
and those with the highest GPAs receive computers and various prizes. The Simpson C Pen mentoring program is challenging, progressive, and effective in helping to mold and shape our young men. Together, these two organizations have trained and motivated a number of young men to understand their roles and their responsibilities in our nation. Will you partner with us? For more information on the Simpson C Pen Boys to Men Mentoring Program, C Pen and Young Champions Mentoring Program, Transforming Boys into Men. Good night. My name is Sharon Coakley. I am the proud parent of Valron and Joel Coakley. They are members of the Five Star School of Karate. They have been active members now for um, the past three years. I have seen a lot of growth and development in them, uh, whereas uh, their self-esteem has grown higher. Um, they're more focused and um, they're, they're, they're really doing well. I think Young Champions is a positive program um, for young men. Uh, it develops them spiritually, physically, and mentally. Good night, everyone. My name is Cameron Cooper. I am 15 years old. Um, I go to C.R. Walker Secondary High School, and I am part of the Young Champions program. Young Champions is all about discipline and self-control, so if I ever had to use them, it would be under life-threatened situation. So no, I haven't really had to use any of the special techniques or movements I've been taught. Good afternoon, my name is John Francois. I'm 16 years old. I attend C.I. Gibson, senior high school. I didn't have to control myself more in school to stop getting troubled. I used to when I was younger. I had to stay in school, learn discipline. Learn mostly about God. It helped me a lot. I start getting suspended. I stay in school, I try, I stay in school trying to finish all my work. Get one more year in school, trying to complete that year. If anyone want to join, it's the best program to join. My name is Falon Coakley, and I have been inside Young Champions for over three years. Young Champions not only physically develops me, but mentally also. It helps me to resist peer pressure, and it's it makes me feel confident in myself and it motivates me to be higher than the usual standard. I certainly would recommend Young Champions to any other guys because it's a very good program to be in. Um, it's very exciting, it's very mo motivating, it just is inspiring to see such great men inside of this program who's willing to help you and just set you on the right path in life. My name is Denzel Paul. I am 11 years old and I go at Anatol Rogers High School. Young Champions had taught me a lot and especially my self-defending at school. I currently hold a white belt as of right now. The chance for me to earn a black belt, I can become a teacher of many students and teach them their discipline they need and they know how outside the channel has taught me a lot of things. But they sit there have seen a big change about, about me because they know how all my cars are being good and proper. My name is Minister Valen Coakley and uh, I have two kids really now connected with the Young Champion program. Um, he is a very dis disciplinary uh, uh, sensei and um, he does a great job in mentoring and, and, and um, getting the kids them to stay in line. Um, I have two kids in the program and, and uh, especially Valron he is um, he has shown in especially with his behavior and um, his respect towards his parents and um, even in their educational performance in their work <laughs> and I'm still trying to get some more young people involved.